Yo, what is going on my husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermzar and welcome to another live reaction review of a wise man's grandchild episode number two. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. So I know this video, if you guys did not know, I'll have these on Thursday. I know it comes out on Wednesday, but we're going to do it on Thursday. So that way I have Shield Hero on Wednesday and this could be on Thursday. I usually don't have anything on Thursday except at nighttime, which is going to be the My Hero Academia and Black Clover manga. But... Uh, in the last episode, our boy, I forgot his goddamn motherfucking name. Shin is his name. He is pretty much, like, fucking overpowered. And f let me tell you guys, the Funimation app, I mean, the fu the Funimation website fucking sucks, guys. The Funima Funimation, work on this, please, please. Anyways, guys, Shin is overpowered as fuck. His teacher is Merlin, his grand, uh, his granddad, and also his grandmom is super overpowered. His family died tragically by a demon, and now he's in school to kind of, like, see how overpowered he is. And at the same time, get used to, like, real-life situations because Merlin did not teach him shit. So now, we're gonna see what's gonna happen in this episode because he got stopped by a beautiful waifu. Let's go. Dude, the girl with the blue hair, though. Which one do you like more, guys? The girl with the blue hair or the red hair? I'm a blue hair type of guy. Damn, he's already spitting game. Sicilian. I know it's supposed to be Sicily. Dude, do we ship that or do we ship me with her? I think I ship me with her. Found ourselves a new waifu, Sicily. <laughs> he's trying to keep it a secret. They admire them, of course, and he's like trying to like, that. that's my grandparents. Say, mind if I kiss him? Hello? It seems like she has a crush on him. Hey, no, I have a crush on me! I, I get that. I get that feeling whenever I see her. Oh, so he does like Sicily, too. Damn, that's an obvious ship. Ah! Ah, you're a fool! I wonder if that's the king's, uh, like, son or something. Could be. Why is there flowers around him? He's just so... Oh, that's Earl Shield. Yeah, who is this guy? Why are they so worried about him? Or weary. Worry. Weary. Worry? Dude, look at baby girl, though, man! Ow! Oh! Yo, Shin, you better get at that, my boy! You better get at that! With all your might, that's a bad idea! <laughs> He has no words. <laughs> Don't destroy the room. <laughs> he still destroyed it. Damn, he's so fucking strong. Oh, they're best friends. Oh, let's go. <laughs> He's like, please don't make me do it. Please, Prince, do it. Oh, she has such a, like, high school crush on him. It's so cute. Man, this guy is so fucking weird. He only, he has to try to find something wrong with Homeboy. But he's gonna try to call him out in a duel and he's just gonna get his ass handed to him. He just made it fucking overpowered. That's what he did with that. Uh-oh. <laughs> I bet you it's gonna be those two with those two girls. Oh, so those are the top four scorers. The heroes grants. I bet they're gonna fucking flip. <laughs> they're like, hello? Look at this man. So salty. Hey, he's an A fucking student, right? I'm like, yo, C's get degrees, my boy. Damn. We see tons of snacks in this class. Tons of snacks, my boys. We're gonna have a good series. You know what? So far, what I've been getting from this anime... Hold on, let me pause it if I could pause it. Okay, so, so far from what, what I'm getting from this anime, it's a lot of feel-good shit. It's cut, it, Like I said, it reminds me of Knights and Magic, Slime. Please, I don't want any fucking weird shit to turn. I mean, I, I'm expecting it because it's not like Slime. Slime is like, you know, something else. But this, I feel like there's gonna be a, a point, hopefully not this episode, where things turn on him, which I'm not... Which I hope doesn't happen. I like Shin a lot. He's a great uh, main protagonist. Hey, yeah, he gonna protect her. Let's go, dude. You better protect her. What a fucking bitch. Damn, yo, let's go. Best friends with Prince August. <laughs> hey, look, she like that. 
<laughs> I like how he's just pushing things forward. I'll Prince Augus is my guy, dude. He's my favorite character. <laughs> His escorts. Hey, man, that seems like a really good uh, group of friends. Wait, why, why, why was Melinda like that? I wonder what she sensed. Sicilian? <laughs> oh, he's just being a protective grandma. <laughs> Her friend's like, why would you say that? Opportunity lost! That's true. Hey, any, hey wife was can trick me all the time. Because <laughs> she is a dumbass. Hey, she got the blessings of Melinda? Shit! <laughs> Merlin's just fucking proud. Dude, Shin is that overpowered. It's so ridiculous. Look up, look how proud they are. Proud grandparents. <laughs> so did he do it on all of it? He did it on all of their uniforms. <laughs> He's just showing his power freely. He's teleportation. <laughs> That's true. Let's talk about this. This is going to be one of those anime that is just not... I don't really have to go too much in depth with it. It's just... We're just along for the ride. Kind of like Fruit Basket. We're just along with it for the ride. Something just enjoyable to watch. And, and just very easy going to, to watch. And this is the type of anime that I personally like. It's like a bit of action. A little bit of adventure. A lot of slice of life portion. Magic is always fucking cool to see at the same time. So we get introduced to a few new characters. But the main character that we care about is Sicily. Uh, of course, uh, you know... Shin is fucking overpowered and I love how he's just so blind to the fact that he is overpowered as fuck. He turned his uniform into a national treasure. He turned everyone's uniform except what's her name? Except Maria's into like some overpowered uniform. Everyone's uniform is like protected. And it's so crazy when uh, the king was saying, well, just so you know, there will be wars caused if you made uniform like this. But August is like, I think Og is so cool. Pr Prince August is so fucking tight. He's like one of my favorite. He's like not as overpowered as Shin, but he has the common sense. I see him as the best friend to Shin to kind of like bring him down to earth when Shin is too like blind to the fact. It seems like Shin is, you know, very dense, but he understands his feelings towards Sicily. He, he could easily be used and abused, unfortunately. that That's just the way Shin is going to be perceived, you know? <laughs> but so far, the, the four main characters, Shin, August, Sicily, and Maria, I think that's a great, not trio, it's a qu quad quadro. I like the four of them together. I think they're going to make really good friends alongside with the people that protect August. And from, from what I'm hearing is that they're hella butchering Sicily's name. I was reading it in the comment sections of the Funimation website. Like, why are they butchering Sicily's name? So Sicily, Sicilian, Sicilian. And that, that's who is at the front page of the light novel. Someone was telling me it's a manga, but I think it was a light novel first before it was a manga from what I'm seeing. It was a light novel 2015. It was a manga 2016. So it was a light novel first and then a manga and now an anime. And I'm very happy about it because so far it's just extremely enjoyable to watch. Very easy going. Just the type of shit that I like. Also, we get introduced to that one fucking weird character that we, we, we don't like. We don't like him. What's his name? I don't remember his name, but he's the he's the bad guy that's bothering our waifu. By the way, question of the day, who would you pick? Red hair Maria or blue haired Sicily? Sicily all day, my boys. But anyways, guys, that is my live reaction review to Wise Man's Grandchild. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that helped me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. Right now, actually, when you're watching this, I should be over in Seattle. Well, actually, I'm not in Seattle yet. I'm probably, like, laid over somewhere else. But I, I will be at Seattle. If you guys are going to be at SakuraCon, I will be there. So don't be afraid to say hi if you see me. My uploads will still be the same. I will still have Fruit Basket. I will still have Kimetsu no Yaiba. Uh, those two videos will still be up as well as Monday is going to be Magamel of the Blue Sea. I will still have that. And Tuesday, I will still have Black Clover. Uh, Black Clover might be a little bit late. But uh, regardless, uh, I'm still going to put out content regardless if I'm out of town. Because... Your boy's out here trying to make the best. And also, my boys, thank you so much for 15,000 subscribers. Fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. I'll catch you guys in the next one.